the other type of extrinsic semiconductor p type semiconductor is made by mixing the impurity which is trivalent trivalent having three electron in the outermost orbit these are metals and these are boron aluminum indium and few other things so when intrinsic semiconductor added with trivalent element impurities then it makes p type how does it make a p type and how does it increase the conductivity see here one aluminum or indium replaces silicon and it is here now it is here and it has got one two three electrons in the outermost orbit and it needs five more now here is a silicon which will give him this they make a pair here is a silicon make a pair here is a silicon they will make a pair here is a silicon which is ready to make the pair but there is no electron here so this is open pair is not made and this octave is not completed they have got 2 2 4 2 6 and 1 7 one electron is required by this now this atom of indium needs one electron to fulfill its uh, octave what does it do it pulls an electron from somewhere from any other silicon atom anywhere okay or from any other atom which is moving around as free atom so now this has become a location which needs one electron and any electron which is going nearby this will pull it into it because this has developed a characteristic to pull one electron we will call it a hole so it has become a hole okay so mixing one indium becomes an hole and it will try from any other silicon it will just pull one electron and complete now if it has pulled one electron from this silicon what happens to its own octave answer one electron pulled from one silicon makes it a hole yes one sheet of electron is becoming vacant and that makes this a hole now this silicon has become a hole now what happens there is another silicon here it will pull its electron here complete its own octave but now this silicon will become a hole that means by mixing one indium one hole is created in the one hole is created in the crystal and that hole will remain anywhere either here or here or here or here because electrons are jumping either from one silicon or other silicon one will go to indium then there will be a hole created here then one will go from here hole will be created here then one electron will go from here hole will be created here but in the crystal overall one hole is created so mixing one trivalent atom create one hole if one atom create one hole that means if we have counted number of atoms if we count the number of atoms then the number of holes we are counting that means it is in our control how many holes are created because we are having the measurement of the material and indium aluminum whatever it is we are doing a measurement and we know actually how many atoms we are mixing so we know how many holes we are creating and holes are what conducting charge carriers so we know how much conductivity we are increasing so this is another way of increasing the conductivity and here 
the charged particle which will carry the charge will be holes. They need not to be conduction electrons. They will be holes in majority. So such extrinsic semiconductors are called p-type semiconductors because the charge of hole is supposed to be positive. So remember p-type semiconductors are the ones in which the charge carrier have positive charges. Okay, then one thing more we should remember whether it is p-type or whether it is one n-type. What is the net charge of the semiconductor crystal? Answer, the net charge of the semiconductor crystal is zero because before mixing indium the net charge was zero. The indium we have brought or the aluminium we brought has a net charge zero because it is an atom and now we mix it up the charge is again zero. But with this zero charge total we have created one charge carrier within it. It is a bit complicated, try to understand it. What was the net charge of silicon crystal? Zero. What was the net charge of aluminium atom? It is zero. Equal number of protons and electrons? It is zero. Mix the two, what will be the net charge? Zero. But the arrangement is such that a hole is created. Hole is created means one charge carrier is created. But net charge of the hole that is is zero. Now we have mixed up one million aluminium atoms. So one million holes are created, one million charge carriers are created. But what is the net charge of this total lattice? Zero. So remember this thing, just think. So I will write it, create one hole, then net charge. of crystal remain zero. Holes are majority, electrons are minority charge carriers. Now this type of dopant which is trivalent is ready to accept one electron. So we have given it one adjective that they are known as acceptors. Acceptor dopants. What was that pentavalent? Pentavalent where? This is what? Aluminium, indium, etc. And that phosphorus that was that was pentavalent and it was donating one electron. So that was donor type dopant. So please remember donor acceptor, acceptor which will accept electron, donor which will donate electron. So donor are those dopants which are pentavalent or the one which will give extra electron because they will have 5 and acceptor will have 3, they need one more, they will always accept electrons. So this makes P type, this makes N type. Okay, so holes majority, electrons minority, number of holes are much larger than number of electrons. But that relation Ne into NH will always remain intrinsic square. That will is always there whether it is p-type, whether it is n-type. This thing is always there. Then net charge zero this thing is always there now the hole this one hole these electrons which are pulled here and the holes their energy level answer is their energy level is just here and this is very small 0 0.0452 0 0.01 electron volt. So this is a very small level 
as good as in balance bank. So this is known as acceptor level. Acceptor energy level. And what was here? This was donor energy level. For the donor electron, for the acceptor hole. Both are very close to this surface and they act this as this, this as this. So this is P-type semiconductor. Uh, I don't think anything is left over here. So these are all the details. So now we have two type of extrinsic semiconductor and we are ready to make the devices. And the device, the very first and fundamental device we make is a junction of P and N type semiconductors that is called a diode. So after learning the characteristic of both P type and N type, in the next lecture we will see if we join the two, we make PN junction that is diode and we will see how it works. Thank you.